In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a simple concept that you can utilize out of the Air Raid Offensive ebook that I wrote, and this comes to you from the Gun Doubles Formation. What's up guys, my name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now if you've never been to my channel before, what my channel does is we focus in on helping people get better at Madden through tips and tricks every single day here on YouTube. Now we upload new videos every single day at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And we also go live and answer Madden questions every single night at 10 o'clock right here on my YouTube channel. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I would highly encourage you and ask that you click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And I would also ask that you join my community discord, which is in the description of this video. All right, guys. So, gun doubles from the Arizona Cardinals playbook. I think this is a really uh, slept on gun doubles, in my opinion, and actually a very effective one at that. And so, what I wanted to do today is give you a couple of different routes that you can use from this, a couple of different plays that you could use that really is going to help you um, move the ball well against pretty much anything the defense is going to throw your way, including the meta man-to-man -man coverage that we've all experienced with the uh, two man under and the purple zones or the cover one robber and the purple zones now again guys this is an excerpt this is a sample of something that you would get in my arizona cardinals ebook so if you want to get the whole scheme breakdown the whole air raid offensive system you can do that by clicking the link in the description and um, we're actually uh, considering putting out an Air, Air Raid 2.0 ebook as well uh, in the future. So if that's something that you would be interested in, let me know in the comments. But um, again, this is a really, really good ebook. It's got over 125 pages of material um, and really, really effective for a lot of people helping them get better at this game. So if you're interested, like I said, over 10 hours of video content, over 125 pages. A lot of people that have picked it up have said it's the best guide that they've ever purchased. So I'd highly encourage you to consider that. That link is in the description, and it does come with my full 46 defense. And that guide has also been updated, I think, three to four times throughout the year. So um, just a really, really good product if you're looking for something to really take your Madden game from you know zero to maybe hero uh, or beginner to level highly advanced in this game. Okay, so let's jump into the video. So the first thing that I wanted to do is I want to show you one of the main reasons I actually really like this formation is because of all of the different running plays that you can have. You can have, you see here I can have RPO read screen, which we did a tip video on this. It's a very good little quick snap throw. And if you haven't seen the video I did on how to basically glitch out the corner on the left side, shoot me a text message and I can shoot you the link. My number is 812-216-3644. Also, you see you have a jet touch pass. Jet touch passes, in my opinion, are one of the best runs in Madden 21. You have a quick base, and you have the read option. So you have a lot of different options when it comes to running the ball uh, from this formation. The other thing is you have some of the air raid staples. You have mesh. You have four verticals. You have shallow cross. Um, this specific shallow cross has a really, really good post route um, to the outside guy that you can use uh, to your advantage. You also have angle smash. You also have um, drag under. You have some really, really good plays. And the audibles I'm going to go over is 94Y, 617ZN, and PA dagger. And then we're going to go over the play. We're going to start with the play Y shallow cross and talk about why this is such a good play. So, uh, and I like to run this flipped uh, primarily for the screen uh, situation. And if you want to know why that matters, just shoot me a text and I can shoot you that video but what you'll notice on this play right here you see you have this deep deep dig route this is actually deeper than a standard in route like if i just put him on a smart routed in route you'd see that that's where he's going to go so he goes about 10 yards you also have a smart routed out route now stock smart routed out routes this year are actually really good for beating man-to-man -man coverage as you can see right there i'm able to beat man uh, to the outside with that little route 10 yard out routes, again, they have to be stock within the play. If you hot route them, they're just not as good. But you'll notice that these little stock, if it's a stock out route, it actually does pretty good against uh, man to coverage. That's why Flood from Gun Bunch is so effective this year. The next thing you have is you have this little tight end shallow cross. This tight end shallow cross, what I like about it is it gets 
Again, it's not going to be great against like a dime, especially if your tight end is slow like the Packers. But if this is like Chris Cooley and Mutt, which is, in my opinion, the best tight end, this is going to be really effective against man, against zone. It just is um, – what I like about it is it's it's really, really shallow. It's a really, really uh, quick-hitting route that just gets underneath a lot of what the defense is going to want to do. Okay, So that's why I like that route. The next thing on this is you're going to notice that this little 10-yard dig, if you low ball and pass lead it to the inside, um, this is going to beat man-to-man coverage as well. So let's say they run man, you know, and again, right in that little pocket. Now, if the quarterback gets the inside position, obviously he's not going to get open, but um, you'll just if you just wait a little bit, typically he'll get underneath the corner, and you can low ball, pass lead that into the inside. But the real reason I like this play is for this post right on the left. It's about 15, I think it's about 20 yards, and then it cuts really sharp to the inside. This is different than the post out of uh, weak flood. And notice, if you smart route it, it's actually going to be basically turned into kind of almost a slant route. Now, I personally don't like the smart routed version of this post very much. I think it messes with the, the spacing of everything else we're trying to do on this offensive play. But what I like about it is, as you can see, it's going to be very effective against man-to-man -man if you just leave it alone. Just call it. Don't do anything to it. Just let him do his thing. And you'll notice that this route, because it's a sharp end cut, it's going to do a really good job at beating man-to-man. -man. Um, and the reason this fits really nicely with the rest of the Arizona scheme is because we have a route on, from another formation that does a really, really good job at beating man-to-man -to, -man, uh, to the left. Now, right there, um, I don't know if Shaq Barrett messed up that throw or what happened. Let me show you that one more time. Let me show you that same coverage. Um, but this is just the meta, you know, if they shaded coverage over top and shaded coverage to the outside, what you'll see right here, you see he's still going to be able to get get underneath that. Um, with Shaq Barrett being on the field, I almost hesitate to even um, blitz him. We're just going to spy him just so you can see because in practice mode, these sheds are just unreal. But you see, he cuts to the inside, and he's able to beat pretty much any man coverage you're going to run. So that's... Um, shallow cross and what you'll notice is against zone coverage it's not much different right um, if anything it's better against zone you see this shallow cross uh, just does such a good job if they're not playing hard flats on the right you can easily throw that shallow cross for um, you know 10 to 15 yards a pop the next thing that you're going to be able to do is if you step up in the pocket you're going to oftentimes have this post route right over the middle of the field and by often, I mean probably about 90% of the time. Because it's a little bit deeper than uh, most post routes, they don't actually, oftentimes the defense doesn't really, um, the user typically doesn't even go guard it, okay? And you can create a lot of different plays off of this specific route. You can create mesh, you can create curl flat, you can create all kinds of different things. Um, but just wait in the pocket, and as you can see, mid-read is not going to do anything and that route's going to come open against man-to-man. -man. Now, if they run cover three, um, you'll notice here that this deep safety, you just have to wait. But essentially, and again, good old practice mode sheds, man. It's like, I don't even, I wish that you could like just have a play where the pra where like the, the defensive alignment doesn't blitz just so you can work on your routes. Um, but what you'll see right here is if they're in cover three, if you low ball that, he's going to come back to the ball really, really nicely uh, on that post route. The other thing that you're going to be able to do against like a cover three defense is oftentimes that dig route, you'll see right here, um, oftentimes that dig route is going to get in very good positions, especially if they start um, Mabel coveraging, which they're going to have to do. Let me show you one other thing on cover three. You see this out route is very effective against cover three. Um, it's not quite as effective against cover two. Cover two is going to do a little bit better of a job against the out route. But even against, like, even if they're running uh, cloud flats, you see here cloud flat does get out there. But what you got is you can also hit the running back. Um, if you wanted to put the running back on a little shoot swing route to the outside here, um, if they're not playing hard flats, that's an automatic, you know, five to ten yards that you can hit your running back with. So it forces them to have to Mabel coverage on both sides. Well, when they have to Mabel coverage on both sides from a cover three, and we'll show you what that looks like, but basically they're going to have to Mabel coverage on both sides of the field. And the, the problem that that's going to create is this route right here is going to come wide open over the middle. Okay? 
So that's shallow cross. Um, the next play I want to show you is 94Y. Now, I really like this play for several reasons. The main reason is because of just, you don't even have to, there's zero adjustments needed for this play. You don't have to make any adjustments whatsoever. And what you're going to notice is this tight end on this out route, because again, it's a stock 10-yard out route, is going to be very effective for beating man-to-man -man coverage. Now, when you run this specific play, I would recommend being on the opposite side hash so that that streak can be ran to the wide side of the field. But what you'll see from this play right here, let's say they run like cover two man, um, you'll notice that this route, this in route, is a very effective at beating man-to-man -man coverage. Because it's a double move route, one step ahead corners are also not going to be able to play this route. So that's another, um, another little bonus for you in this play. One other thing you could do if you wanted is you could take Shepard and you could put him on a hitch or a drag. And now you have a little underneath route to kind of com complement your deep in route. Now, what if they run zone coverage on the, um, on the left side or, you know, what if they run zone coverage in general? You'll notice that this little quick flat, if they're not playing hard flats, take your flat, right? Take your flat, take your flat, take your flat. Another thing that you'll notice is, let's say that they are playing hard flats, okay? On this play right here, 94Y. If they're playing hard flats, you're tied in when he cuts the outside. He's going to be open with a pass lead up. And as you can see right there, he's going to get a lot of yardage. So what that's going to lead them to start doing is it's going to force them to do some kind of Mabel coverage on this to basically try to prevent you know any more of that so something like this right here they may go to cover two and they may try to stop it like that well if they run cover two you can pass lead that route to Devonte adams to the outside and what you'll see is he'll get in a nice little window against the cover two so now what they're going to do is they're going to go to cover three and if they go to cover three um this is probably going to do the best job against this what you'll notice is oftentimes when people go to cover three they're going to vacate the middle of the field and they're going to go over to the right side to take Marquez by scantling this is going to leave this route open for a nice low ball pass so if they run zone on the left side you have multiple options that you can hit them with then the other thing is um with this if this zig route doesn't get pressed if a zig route is stock meaning kind of like an out route right if the play comes with a zig route and it doesn't get pressed, it's also going to do a really good job at beating man-to-man -man coverage. You'll see here, now that he's being pressed, he's not going to be as very he's, he's not going to be a great separator. You're going to need some kind of an ability on him for that to work. Okay? So that's 94Y. The last play that I want to cover is this ZN. Now, I really like this route to the left side. Um, and the reason that I like this is you have a stock hitch on the outside on the right. And what you want to do with this what I like to do is take the running back on the right side here and just put him on a swing route to the right side. What you'll notice is when you have a stock, um, when you have a stock hitch route to the outside receivers and they're on the line of scrimmage, they have to be on the line of scrimmage, he will basically settle it up early against man and you can low ball that to the inside and he will never, um, he, he pretty much will always have inside leverage. Even against press man, it doesn't matter. He is going to still kind of settle up right there. So just low ball, pass lead it inside, let the computer aggressive catch it, and you're going to be off the races. Another thing that you have with this uh, ZN is you have this nice little post route over the middle of the field that can oftentimes beat man-to-man -man coverage. Um, now right there, obviously, it, it wasn't able to. But if they sh do some shading and do things like that, you'll see that it's going to get that nice inside position, especially against shaded coverage outside which they're very likely to be running because you have that uh, fade from 94Y. The other thing that you could do is you can actually smart route both of these routes on the outside. And you notice that they're going to go a little sharper. That sharpness of the route is also going to help with them getting open against man-to-man -man coverage. It turns into a very similar play that you have in the trips tight end formation uh, called curl flat, right? But I think it's actually a little bit better. Now, this route to Devontae Adams, you notice it's a kind of a stock in route. Uh, this route's going to do a really, really good job at getting separation against man-to-man -man coverage as well. As you can see, you're able to uh, hit that very consistently. The last play I want to cover is PA Dagger, and it's mainly for this route to Devontae Adams. And you're just going to want to run this to the left hash of the play. And what I like to do with this play, you could do multiple things. 
But if they're running the meta coverage, meaning they are um, doing something like what I'm about to do right here. And we'll show you this right here. This is kind of the meta coverage, right? I'm not going to use her in the middle of the field. What I want you to do is take Devontae Adams and put him on a smart route. And then from there, on the backside, all you're going to do is you're going to run, uh, you're running back on a little swing. Shepard's going to go on a slant. And then you can leave Scantling on his little dig route. And what you'll see of motion, Adams to the right, get him kind of snap, snapped while he's in motion. And all you're going to do is just pass lead this up. And as you can see, you're going to be able to torch the meta man-to-man -man coverage. So this is a little mini scheme out of the shotgun doubles in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. And this is just a small glimpse of what you get when you get the entire air raid offensive guide offensive system, as well as the 46 defensive guide. They're bundled together, so they come together. One purchase, and you get both ebooks. Um, so, again, guys, all you got to do is click that link in the description. It's over 125 pages of material. Very, very effective content and very, very effective offense and defense. Just click the link in the description. If you have any questions about any of the things we talked about in today's video, be sure to shoot me a text. I also send out exclusive videos to my text message members, people who have texted in every single week. So if you want to get those exclusive videos, also shoot me a text message. My number is 812-216-3644. It's also in the description of this video. And just a quick heads up, guys, we will be live tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time right here on our YouTube channel. So be sure to be in the Discord. That way you can know whenever we go live. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in tonight's stream.